an outstanding year, reached the uh, quarterfinals of the French, and since then, quarterfinalist in Halle, where he lost to Rafter, and semi-finalist in Zerk Toggenbosch, where he lost to Hewitt. The first meeting between them, Federer to serve. 15 line. I look pretty nervous on that one. Get the board, please. Second serve getting up very high on the Sampras backhand. Fourteen up. Impressive start by Roger Federer, a love service game, and I suppose there are some young men who are born to perform on centre stage, and he, he looks as if he, he's the hardened uh, champion out here. Yes, that was an, a very impressive start. Roger Federer perhaps tipping his hand in that the first Sampras game, served three wide serves to the Sampras forehand. That's quick. 15 love. Very quick indeed. Thirty love. Hundred and seventeen mile an hour second serve from Pete Sampras. Fourteen fifteen. And another one right up at a hundred and thirty miles an hour. So Sampras uh, coming out and throwing down the gauntlet here. One game. Peter, I thought the Battle of the Aces was supposed to be going on on court one. Well, of course, that might be a rough match to watch, but these two players, great servers as well. Lot 15. So the first actual rally of the match. Fifteen on. And this we will see many more times this match, Roger Federer with a very, very powerful forehand. A lot of confidence in that shot. Ah! 30, 15.
14-15. Pete Sampras really was the, the guy who popularized that sort of forehand volley, almost flat. Many of the players now hit those forehand volleys almost flat, even a little topspin occasionally. Forty thirty. If you're going to serve wide to Sampras's forehand, make sure it's very wide. Game, Federer. Federer now for a few years. And uh, nice to see Monty here, Time. Colin Montgomery, with his wife, Ema, fresh from his victory in the Irish Open yesterday. Lovely to see him winning again. Yes, no wonder he's smiling. Raced up the Ryder Cup uh, rankings. Well, we've got to make sure we beat you Americans, you know. Stole the cup from us a couple of years back. that backhand pass. I don't think Pete was expecting that one. Love 30. Well, 128 mile an hour serve, but it came back with interest. And it's Federer who has the first opening. Love 30. Fifteen forty. Yes, Sampras running through that forehand volley. Always best to take the ball as close to the net as possible. Thirty forty. Well, Federer will, would have been disappointed. That's what you look for. Second serve when you got break point. Still has one more chance. Deuce. Interesting that Sampras, after facing that barrage of three backhand returns, went to Federer's forehand on two of the three break points, both on second serves. Pete is not at all afraid to take chances on that second serve of his. Backhand of Federer. Sampras. Is sweetly hit. Sampras had to pull that shot out of his bag of tricks. Game, Sampras. <laughs> Two games old. First step. Sampras serves himself out of trouble from Love 40 and already four aces. Fifteen love.
15 all. Well, Federer changing things up, coming in behind that second serve. But he didn't look quite so comfortable doing it. 30-15. Hey! Well, seemed to lose a little bit of control of the racket had there, flicked at it with the wrist. I think he might have lost his footing just a bit on his first move toward that ball. Federer, 40, extremely confident in this forehand, that wrong footing shot, landing within six inches of both lines in the corner. Game Federer. <laughs> Federer leads three games to two, first set. That, at your peril, really. He knows how to play. He knows how to win Time. when he's not playing at his best. Let's have a look at Federer's route through. Remember, he'd never won a match here at Wimbledon prior to this year. Beat a couple of Belgians, Christoph Rochus and Xavier Melis in his five-setter, and then an impressive win, I thought, over Jonas Bjorkman, showing that he really is maturing as a grass court player. Because Jonas has been a fine grass court player, good doubles player, of course, the Swede. Fifteen love. Well, Sampras is thundering down the big serves, constantly up at the 130 mile an hour mark, but just look how many he's getting in. That's extraordinary. Well, this point is extremely nice. You see how close Sampras is to the net on that first volley. You think you've done well just to get the return in play, and then when he's putting away volleys like that, that must be a nightmare. Thirty, fifteen. Slam dunk lets him down. Yes, Pete will miss this overhead two or three times a year. It's just about his favorite shot. And one that he almost never misses. Forty thirty. Game Sampras. Three games all for set. Lovely setting, isn't it? Three all first set. They've been playing for 16 minutes.
15 love. Fifteen on. Thirty fifteen. Federer is determined not to be outdone in the aces count. He leads five four now. Thirty. Yes, perhaps if there's one difference between these two players, it's that Federer doesn't quite get into net as quickly, nor possibly quite as comfortable as Sampras at the net. Sat. 30, 40. Just a little too much, allowing Sampras to unwind on that topspin backhand pass. Sampras's first break point. Deuce. Well, that backhand volley confidently played. Both players serving very well on the big points. Okay. And that's the average of Sampras's second serve. And he Darn. quite openly says, the reason I've won more than seven years in a row, seven years, is that I have the best second serve in the game. He has by quite some margin. Both players will be very pleased with how they've started out this match. Often the first three or four games can be nerve wracking affairs, but neither one of them suffering that today. 15 left. Look how deep this second serve is. Deep, perhaps not quite as quick as some of his others. That one coming in at 104 miles an hour. Federer timing it perfectly. Out. 30, 15. Well, that wide serve had an immense amount of swing on it. Not only did it land very close to the line, but it was curving away from Federer. 
Gam Sampras. Four games on, first set. Well, we were promised this was going to be a scorching day, but the cloud cover is really built up. Actually, the players won't mind that because it's pretty humid, but hardly any breeze, so therefore perfect playing conditions. Don't have to worry about the sun. In fact, it's very humid out today, probably the most humid day we've had in the last two or three weeks. So that might play a factor if this match goes four or five sets. Federer not quite getting that half volley deep enough. And once again, Sampras showing that he can go down the line with that backhand pass as well as cross court. sure that the call was right. I think uh, Sampras was in between uh, the line judge and the line. So a little bit of luck for the champion. Oh. Third year. I was talking of second serves, that was a pretty good one. Certainly was a very brave target that Federer chose there. So the first error we've seen today from Roger Federer from the back of the court. Advantage Federer. I like the way he's mixing up those second serves. Remember the last one was out wide to the forehand. That one with a bit of kick got up high to the backhand wing of Sampras. Uh, gosh, uh, coming up to the 4th of July, aren't we? Ready for the big day. Fifteen love. Greg is going to set the break down. Fifteen on. Oh, yes, that serve not directed close enough to the line. If you're going to challenge Federer's forehand, you have to make it better than that.
30-15. Well, certainly a chance there for Federer. His backhand return has been working so well, and for once the uh, second serve of Sampras was a little short. Forty fifteen. Sampras. <laughs> Five games on, a set. Exactly half an hour they've been playing. Fifteen love. That was a very nicely played low forehand volley from Federer. Hit that one hard and deep. Thirty love. Forty fifteen. Federer's first double fault of the match. Fifteen or well, that serve again, not quite near enough the center line. Federer just guiding it past Sampras. Thirty fifteen. That's what Pete Sampras does so well. He changes speeds on his second serve. One time it'll be 104 miles an hour, that one coming in quite a bit harder at 115. And so, therefore, you find yourself unsure of where the ball is going to be exactly. And he also has the very happy knack of finding the corners with the second serve as well.
Sam Press. Six games on first set, tie break. Four break points in that opening set, but no breaks. And so we'll go to the tie break. Sampras has won 11 of 18 tie breaks this year. Federer, four of seven. <laughs> One zero, Federer. Seventh ace for Sampras. Left for third. In the old days, they used to give a player a barrel of beer if he could get three successive nets. They'd give him a barrel of beer for just about anything back then, wouldn't they? Federer. Well, the backhand return of Federer continues to function exceptionally well, and it's the young Swiss who has the first mini break point against the serve. Three, two, Federer. And Sampras suddenly finds a backhand return of his own. Yes, yeah, interesting that Federer has decided to come into to serve in volley, really, behind every second serve. Three off. Sampras, understandably with supreme self-belief, always willing to go for the big shots on the big points and in a tie break. Coach Paul Anacone took over, of course, when Tim Gullickson was suddenly, sadly uh, struck down with uh, a brain tumour. Very nicely Four, played. Three, Sampras. Uh, Sampras, that ball almost handcuffed him. But at the last minute, got out of the way and placed the ball perfectly. Oh, that's a great shot. 
right onto the sidelines. Yes, four on, just barely. Wide this time. Five four Sampras. So the decision to uh, stay back on the second serve perhaps cost him a little. And now Sampras has the mini break. He needs two points. He has two service points to come. Federer, having gone cross court several times, goes up the line. His first passing shot winner of the match, and it ties the tiebreak up at five all. Who's going to have the first set point? Six five, Sampras. 121 and nearly on the center line. Six off. Well, I have to say, from this end where we are, it looked well out. But maybe not. And of course, Cyclops, uh, the line monitor machine, is there. Sampras hasn't realized it's time to change ends. He's, uh, he's fired up today. He certainly is. Well, it's certainly not a ball that the umpire could overrule. Very, very close. Mohamed Layani is our umpire for this match. He's one of the full time umpires on the men's circuit. Federer's first set point. Second set point on his own serve. The champion will have to come from. 
from behind as Federer takes the set. The teenagers in front. How will the champion Second respond? Set, Club 15. First game in any set is important. This one perhaps doubly so for Roger Federer if he can get an early break. Fifteen on. Well, this served perhaps not quite the swing that Sampras 15, was hoping 15. for. Federer cutting it off, taking a step in diagonally, and meeting it perfectly. He's not afraid to go for his shots, this guy, is he? Third two. Closed in so quickly here, Sampras. See how tight he is to the net when making the volley. Yes, I think Federer mistimed that return. Ball coming a bit slower off of the lines. He was way out in front of that one. Forty thirty. Federer has such a beautiful backhand. Rolls right over that ball, and that was hit a ton. Advantage Sampras. A great low volley from Sampras, taken off his ankles. Again, hit quite flat and hard into the corner. And an easy lame duck smash. Game Sampras. First game, second set. Well, that was a hard opening service game for Sampras in the second set. Federer getting some excellent returns and passing shots going and bringing the very best out of the champion. What a talent this young man is. Moving up the rankings all the time. 29 at the start of the year. 15 now. Lovely hands on that low volley, he sort of caressed underneath it. Yes, well, I, I think it's safe to say that he's more than just a talent. He is a man with a mind, a competitor, the whole package. 30 long.
Portilla. One game on, second set. Love service game then for Roger Federer. With a couple of aces thrown in. You can't imagine him freezing at the prospect of winning this match. Fifteen love. Once again, Sampras taking that low volley, charging it, hitting it hard and deep to the corner. An ace on the second serve, but he's having to uh, come up with more and more good, indeed great second serves, because remember his first serve percentage was 79%, dropping away a little bit. Forty love. Game Sampras. New balls in play. that are just forgetting here, perhaps, that he needs to go for his second serves. Fifteen off. Well, that first volley very well played. The return was good, it was down low. Federer charged it and got the volley within inches of the baseline. Thirty, fifteen. So Pete not happy with that racket. For some reason, it didn't look as though he'd broken a string. Has a very thin gut in his uh, racket, very tightly strung, and Nate Ferguson, his stringer, restrings them each and every one every night. Thank you. It's a very heavy racket as well. Loss of confidence. 40. And Federer's second serve. And flexing his left thigh a little bit as well. Two double faults in a row, and it's gifted Sampras a break point. D 
use. Advantage Federer. But he seems totally unfazed, doesn't he? Game Federer. Two games on, second set. And again, you can just see doing a little bit of bending. I don't uh, know whether he's got a little bit of a problem on his left side. We did, yes. Sampras guessing correctly on that first low pass. And Federer just keeping the ball in play, keeping it low, making sure he doesn't give Sampras an opportunity to hit a winning volley. a better pass than this ever. Lot 30. Slow motion does not do that one justice. That was a rocket. <laughs> 15, 30. Well, when faced with any sort of trouble, Pete almost invariably gets a big first serve in. Well, the Sampras reaction says it all. He just shakes his head in disbelief. And really, oh, that's, 15, just, 40. that's just perfect timing. Forty. Still break point. That second serve, not quite as quick as some of the other Sampras has hit today, but it jumped up very high. Federer certainly not expecting that one to be up around his eyes. He's had the chances in this match, certainly. Sampras. Oh gosh, this was one of the points of the tournament, really. Both players pulling out two to three great shots. Sampras. Sampras leads three games to two. Second set, first set, feather. Oh, an overall from Mampar Liani. First one of the match. No complaint from Federer. Left, second serve.
15 well done, line. Ryan. Federer really does play that first ball very aggressively. And that, of course, is very important 15 off. for Federer because, because Sampras likes to play from the baseline as well. And once he gets in a big forehand and takes control of the point, you are in big trouble. So Federer making sure that doesn't happen. Thirteen, fifteen. Now that's as good a return as Federer has come up with a very different one, sliced, blocked, but perfectly angled. Thirteen, and this really has won Pete several championships that chip return off of a good first serve bails him out a lot of times. Fourteen thirty. Federer doesn't serve out wide that often, but when he does, he invariably hits a good one. Sort of Second set. Keep waiting for Federer's standard of play to drop, but it isn't. And if he can keep this up, there's a real possibility of an upset. La Petite. Very different type of return from Federer, and once again, Sampras in trouble on serve. So two really unforced errors, you'd have to call them. Double fault in that shot. And Pete in a bit of a hole. the open court and often when your opponent is left with a lame duck shot best to, to head towards the early shot Fifteen, forty. gotta take one of these chances Sampras is thundering down the aces. 30, 14. 
what a knack he has of coming up with just enough when it matters. First volley, perilously close to the baseline. Deuce. That's how close it was to being a break of serve just inside the line. You can see Federer here almost giving him a head fake. His body language said down the line. He held it and held it and just nudged it cross court. Left buster. Again, a very aggressive volley from Sampras. Advantage Sampras. Well, the serve is seep certainly keeping Sampras in this set. Spreen, uh, the trainer, has just been treating Roger Federer. We've noticed he's just struggling a little bit on his left side, left thigh or hip. There's Doug Spreen, he's not struggling, sprinting off. But uh, Federer, believe it or not, in this set has had six break points and hasn't been able to take any of them. We're on serve, 3-4. That are scoring once again with that love. wide slice serve to the Sampras forehand. He's made that serve repeatedly. Yeah. This could be a real danger if Sampras starts to time that chip backhand return. That's the second one he's made now in two games. Thirty. First set tiebreak was won nine points to seven. Sampras had had a set point. Federer won it on his second. It's long. Thirty. Well, that was a chance. Not out by much. Yes. Nicely played by Federer. You can see Sampras guessing forehand, just laying the wrist back. Okay, Federer. If 
Four games on, second set. You have to be so impressed with the way that Federer has has kept his nerve and kept his concentration. So often it's it's uh, a real danger when you've had break points and and haven't broken. The very next game, often uh, if you find yourself letting up and losing serve. Federer has not done that yet. He had four break points in the last game. La Petite. La 40 on the Sampras serve. Sampras uh, saved them with two aces and a wonderful volley right onto the baseline. Previous Sampras service game, he came from 15 40 down. <laughs> 15 on. Sampras, incidentally, has had just two break points in the match, one in each set. There have been no breaks. <laughs> 15, 30. And that backhand has been a real feature of this match. Federer hitting winning backhand passes six or seven times, beating Sampras with pace on many of them. Third two. Something special if that had gone in. It was out. 40 30. Fifteen love. Oh. Thought it couldn't have been any deeper. Fifteen on. And this was a perfectly played shot from Sampras, one that we've seen so many times over the years from him. Thirty-fifteen. Once again, the return was a tester. But Federer answered it nicely. Forty-fifteen. Oh. Second set. An hour and a half approaching, and still we await the first break of serve. But it's never been dull this match. There have been so many good returns. Both men have been really tested on the volley. 15 love.
Yes, Federer's ability to keep that pass low, keeping him in that point. I don't think Pete will be especially pleased with that drop volley. Forty thirty. Plus the six game to five, second set, first set feather. This man to win several Grand Slam titles in his career. This game seems to be especially well suited to grass because he has such nice hands, very good feel, and ability to get the return in play. That's something you can't teach. La Petite. The worst possible time, really, to serve a double. First point puts you under pressure when you're serving to stay in a set. Well, he did this earlier in the set. Two successive doubles and got away with it. Both serves, he sort of kicked his left leg as, as though he's not quite happy with how it's helping his serve. Suddenly, out of nowhere, three break points, three set points. Love 40. Well, it's an overrule. It was called good by the baseline judge. From our vantage point, it looked well, just long.
advantage, Sampras. Well, Sampras made him cover a lot of ground in that rally. Settled. New boards, please. The reaction on Bridget Sampras's face says it all. He'd been on the receiving end, and suddenly was broken free of the shackles. This first game of the third set, crucial for him. Or shall we say the first couple of games in this set? Who shall let Federer get back Third set. and maintain level Sampras terms? Sampras. So Sampras serving with new balls. Once again, Sampras finding the baseline with a very difficult low volley. Fifteen off. Should have worked. 13, 15. And the reaction, perhaps not the one that Federer supporters will like to see. First time we've seen him show any sort of frustration. Thirty. Forty thirty. Was thirty all now, as you say, forty thirty. Game, Sampras. First game, third set. So Pete Sampras with uh, a little run of three straight games, suddenly in the ascendancy. It's the first time he's been ahead in the match because it was uh, Federer who served first and was always ahead through the first set. And now a very important game for the 19-year-old, having just played that poor service game, to lose his serve and clearly troubled with a niggling thigh problem. Hey. 
15 love. I have to say, though, there have been no signs that that thigh problem has affected his play at all, but perhaps his frame of mind. Dirty love. Once again, Federer getting that second serve up high in the best Sampras backhand return. Well up over his shoulder. Sampras most comfortable hitting backhands at about waist level, which is why it normally is so good on a grass court. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Both of them have been very intelligent in their serving, mixing up the pace, mixing up the angles. And this really one of the few points when both men have been at the baseline that Sampras has won. Now Sampras looked as though he thought that was a let, but no call. One game, third set. was asked for two balls and discards the one that's perhaps the most fluffed up, wants the one that will travel through the air the quickest. Fifteen long. Well, Sampras reacting well once again to that powerful Federer return. For once, 30, 15. caught way back behind the service line making the first volley. Sampras must feel at times, where can I go against this guy? Passes me either way off of both forehand or backhand. Just a little problem with the ball coming back from the crowd. It has now. Awkward delay there between first and second serve. Oh. 30, 40. And the double fault gives Federer yet another chance to break. Oh, 
his 10th chance to break in the match. Once again, Sampras comes up with a powerful second serve on break point down. What a knack he has for that. Let for serve. Asking umpire Mohamed Lignani whether he heard it. The answer was in the affirmative. You may have just picked up the little bleep that goes off in the umpire's ear from the device that calls the lets. Second break point after the second ace of the game. too many uh, looks at second serves and uh, the you can see that uh, Federer doing better in terms of winning points on both the first and second serve that's very surprising against the greatest grass court player of all time 2-1 he leads oh. 50 love We haven't seen a lot of winning returns from Pete Sampras, but that one picture perfect. First up. Thirty. Yes, Sampras. For one of the first times this match, opening his shoulders on their return. It was open. Thirty. Federer not covering that down the line pass at all. From that position, Sampras can go down the line, cross court, or top spin lob. And that ball had side spin on it, allowing him to swing it around Federer. Back immediately. 
two games over, third set. And I've seldom uh, seen Pete Sampras so animated on a court. Huge yell of come on as he breaks back. Nice to see, really. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Forty love. Not often Federer has missed uh, a series of service returns just dropped off a little bit here the disappointment of being broken back after finally breaking Forty, fifteen. Just reaching 40, that ball, 30. and Sampras won't be pleased at all with that framed volley. Merely had to lob the ball over Federer for an easy winner. Okay, Sampras. Plus Lee begins to two. If Fifteen. Long. Well, Sampras has attempted a deft little chip, falling short. Fifteen on. Dark mutterings from Federer in this Swiss German. The city of Basel, which is, of course, right on the border with uh, both Germany and France, fluent in both languages and in English. His mother is South African. 40, 15. As is his doubles partner this week, Wayne Ferreira.
Gary Federer. Three games off, third set. Just when you think he might be weakening a little, he comes up with a really solid service game. Yes, that was perfectly placed, sliding away, the spin carrying it even further away from Federer, no chance. Fifteen all. Again, the backhand return. 15 30. And as we reach the two hour mark, Sampras once again having to battle in a service game. 15 30. This was a brilliant there, pickup there from Sampras. Not quite a half volley, not a full ground stroke. Those are just about the most difficult shots in the game. One set all, three all, and 30 all. Round of applause, brilliantly held in the covers. What a point! What a point. <laughs> well, that was a near winner return off of a near ace. 30, 40. And that is genius. What hands this man has. Deuce. Peter, if you and I had a, a pound or a dollar for that matter, for every break point Sampras has saved with a big serve in his career, we could retire immediately. Exactly right. Left for sir. Advantage, Sampras. Funnily enough, it's Sampras's first ace of this set. Which may account for the fact that he has been struggling to hold serve in it. Broken once. Game, Sampras. Fifteen love. It's back on the 
Feather aside. Fifteen all. Well, Federer facing a barrage. Top spin ground strokes. Nearly got that one back. Thirty fifteen. That's the serve that has really troubled Sampras, the one that gets up high to his backhand. He hasn't been able to get over the top of that at all. Again, Federer. Four games on, third set. Twelfth ace for Roger Federer as he draws level yet again. Well, Sampras mistiming that halfway ball, not quite a half volley, not a full ground stroke. Fifteen off. Federer was right on that return. Looked almost as though he had too much time. Sampras cutting things a little fine. Forty fifteen. That serve almost wide enough, but almost isn't good enough against a man who returns as well as Federer. Further illustration that Federer has all the shots in the book. We've seen him play with great power there, the gentle little dink, just making it awkward for Sampras.
advantage, Federer. Familiar scenario, isn't it? Thirteenth break point of the match. First time around immediately now, he's coming out to be two sets to one up on the guy who's owned Wimbledon for the whole of the 90s. Time. The Federer is going to get nervous in this match. And this might be a likely time. But he, he doesn't really strike me as a guy who's going to get nervous in the tight situations of a match. He has a lot of self-belief. Yes, ma'am. Oh. But then again, so does that man. I mean, again, every shot in the point. Perfect. Good first serve. Great return. Nice pick up. And then this. Left for serve. Fifteen off. Thirty, fifteen. Because Federer is serving with new balls this game, that body serve is especially effective. Four, four 14, serves 15. in. Two set points for two sets to one. Game at third set. The champions on the ropes. But don't count him out yet. Two sets to one to Federer. Federer leads two sets to one. Could have thought that you know he, he hasn't played many five-set matches over his career. He's played seven five-set matches, and I suppose he really isn't quite used to to the ebb and flow of a five-set match. But how well he came back was the end of that third set. Fourth set, Sampras to serve. Very crucial time right now. She was smiling at the end of the second set. Anything but now. Thirty love. Just one ace from Sampras in that third set. Looking very serious, aren't they? The Sampras bench. Oh. Forty love. Oh. No wonder Sampras puts his head down. 40, 15. Yes, and that serve not far from the center line. You can't do much better than that. 114 miles an hour, Federer. He might be reading Sampras's serve just a little bit. Game, okay, Sampras. First game, fourth set. 
So a solid service game from Sampras to start the fourth set. And now it would be a good time to really try and push down on the accelerator because Federer is bound to be saying, bound to be beginning to think of the possibility of winning this match. And if Sampras could break back or break out, I should say, here and get a two love lead, just take the wind out of the teenager's sails. Sampras had him on the run throughout this point. La Petite. Acrobatic stuff. La Petite. Going cross court, you have to go for a clean winner. And he just overhit it. Too much of a swing. Fifteen thirty. Thirty. Federer seeing this lame duck return of Sampras's in with a full swinging volley. His reaction said it all. A real chance. Federer nicely, conveniently hitting the ball straight back to him. One game on, fourth set. Fifteen love. Sixty-eight. Yeah, they put us up over sixty. Thirty If you were coming in now at five o'clock and saying, "Well, perhaps Sampras isn't serving well." And 68% of first serves in. That's a great percentage, consider, especially considering how hard he hits it. Right. 40 love. Fifteen. Well, Federer, even at full stretch, times that one beautifully. for a wonderful point, but I would imagine Federer is saying, why didn't I go down the line on that last point? Yes, because Sampras was sitting on the cross court. He had no intention of covering the down the line. You can see Federer, no doubt, thought that, look at where Sampras was standing. 
Federer no doubt thought that Sampras was trying to lure him into hitting it down the line. You can see Pete just had given up the ghost almost. So Sampras holds, but even top players, Peter, always say, oh, well, we, we take it one point at a time, one match at a time. But, I mean, surely Federer can't do that in this situation. Surely he's got to be thinking, hey, I'm two sets to one up on the seven times champion. Well, if he does have that thought crossing his mind, he's got to banish it instantly because that's the sure way to, to lower your performance. Time. I, I think, really, that the top players do get into that frame of mind one shot at a time, one point at a time, and that's why they are the champions. It's the young players who come up and, and allow those extraneous thoughts to enter their mind that bring them back to earth. Fifteen love. He showed that Sampras was up in the high 60s. Federer is not doing too badly either, is he? Federer's percentage of 61% first serves in is great when you consider that he's won 83% points on the first serve. So you can be certain that he's hitting the corners with that serve. Sampras thought it was a let. 14 up. That's the little device that uh, picks up the vibrations of a net cord. Not universally loved, I think it's fair to say. Two games all, fourth set. Love service game for Roger Federer, who's changing rackets, not a change of ends. Samp was not at all happy returning that second serve, Federer. Doesn't like the way it gets up on him. So many of the statistics in this match are so even. They've both now served six double faults. Oh, what a brilliantly manufactured shot. He had to put on the brakes. 15 on. Yes, he did, and, and you can see why. Sampras's forehand is held in such high regard, adjusting at the last second and so precise. Oh. 30, 15. Fifteen. Federer thinking that one might have been a little long, but no bleep from Cyclops, which is a much more accepted piece of machinery. That's the machine that calls the service line.
4030. Once again, whenever Sampras fails to get an extra amount of swing on that wide serve, Federer is waiting. Game, Sampras. Sampras leads three games to two, fourth set. Federer leads two sets to one. It's dropped quite a bit, whereas in the, in the second set, it was up at around 70%. Sampras now is making only 64% of returns on Federer's second serve, and that's just not good enough. Sampras wins because on first serves, he's able to chip the return back low, but on second serves, he he goes for his shots and, and, and makes things happen with his return. And because Federer has been able to, to hit, mix up, first of all, his serve so well, he stayed back on some, hasn't given Sampras a, a, a steady target, a consistent target. Sampras really hasn't returned well today. He, he, Sampras doesn't like the fact that Federer has, has hit so many kick serves up high. So I think he's, he's got to try and figure out a way to get a few more returns in play, put more pressure on the Federer serve. Fifteen low. Yes, Federer going for the body line serve. Not allowing Sampras a full swing on the return. Forty low. Federer has won the last 11 points on his serve. Game, Federer. Yes, if ever there was a time in this match when Federer's concentration wavered. Three games all, fourth set. And those times are over. He is well and truly in this match. And Pete Sampras is going to have to win it. Federer is not going to give it away. Fifteen love. Oh, terrific serve in the corner, but it comes back with interest. Fifteen. His fastest of the match, 133 miles an hour. He served an awful lot of them over the 130 mile an hour mark. 78 feet is the distance of a tennis court. The length of it, you get less than half a second to react. Fifteen. Funny how Federer seems to be sitting on the, 
that slice serve up the middle sometimes, but other times not reacting as well. Thirty. Oh, that was a double fault and a half. It was nearer the baseline than the service line. It was a terrific pace on it, 117 miles an hour. Kim Sampras. Right on the tee. Right. Oof, just for a moment, Sampras thought it was being called good. Fifteen off. Mind you, it might have been good. the return and this beautiful 15, dink 30. from Sampras conjuring brilliance from nothing. There too. First break point of the fourth set. Deuce. Badly mistimed shot we've seen Federer hit today. Views. Sampras seeing a mirror image of himself. Two break points saved with two terrific first serves. Advantage Federer. Another change of tennis balls after the first seven games and thereafter after every nine. But the serenity of uh, Federer out here today. You remember, he, he's still only 19 and yet he played those two break points against him so coolly, so calmly. 
It's as if his whole career has been waiting for this moment, the first time on the centre court. One thirty-four, fifteen love. It's the quickest serve Sampras has fired today. Forty fifteen. It's really tough to go on making half volley after half volley. Let a sublime one on the first point of this game, Sampras. Game, Sampras. Yes, Federer opting to go behind Sampras. Pete reacted perfectly. showing how he does it. Fifteen thirty. A little sag of the shoulders that time from Sampras, and now he knows how it feels. Two aces from Love 30. Forty thirty. Fourth set. Love 30 down, two points away from being taken to a fifth set. No problem for Federer. Four fabulous first serves. What a talent. What a mind as well. And you need both.
better really close that gap in the ace department. Oh! Dangerous job being a center service judge. Fifteen on. Thirteen, fifteen. Really took his time over that serve. Sampras thought long and hard where to go. Title is hanging by a thread at the moment. Sampras closing well on that first volley. Moving through it, imparted side spin, made Federer's attempted top spin lob so difficult. Game Sampras. Yes, the winner of this match will play the winner of that Henman Martin encounter, which follows it. 5 6 in the fourth. <laughs> 15 love. Sink yes, that's the sort of return that we so often see Sampras pull out of the bag on grass. Off. One of the few times he's been able to hit a backhand in the pocket right at waist level. Left for sir. right on the base and look where Sampras is when he actually makes this pass. Well behind the baseline. Forty thirty. Six games on, for set, tiebreak. So Pete Sampras must win a fourth set tiebreak. 
if he's to keep alive the dream of being the first man ever to win eight Wimbledon singles titles. Zero, Sampras. 120 mile an hour, second serve from Sampras on that point. Yes, and the return came back almost quicker. Great volley from Sampras. Yeah, two points played, two fantastic. One oh, Almost lost his concentration seeing that Sampras wasn't even chasing that ball. Two one Sampras. All he had to do was dump it back into the court. That's quick. 3-1, Sampras. 129 miles an hour to the corner. It's very quick, probably the equivalent of 135 up the middle. Yes, the radar gun that judges the speed. We all know it records quicker down the centre. Like that one, 136. For one, Sampras. Great champions die hard. He's stepped it up in this tie break. And for the first time, you, you feel as if the moment has got to Federer. He's played two very sloppy points. Well, I'm not sure if it's the moment or the opponent. The energy that Pete Sampras has sent out in this tiebreaker is just monumental. Every point he's played to perfection. And Federer almost trying to do too much under the, the weight of the opposition. Second serve. <laughs> yes, Sampras. Five, two. Not Sampras. able to get that chip down low enough to bother Federer. Well, if he's to have any chance in this tiebreaker, this point is vital. Sampras. Knew it was going long and that he's facing four set points and that serve 134 miles an hour. Every first serve in the tie break 
has been flat out. One advantage for Federer is that he will be serving first now in this fifth set. So as long as he can hold, he'll always have his nose in front, which could be very important if we get to a long, long advantage set. 5-4, 6-5, 7-6, and so on. And it's vital, of course, that he holds this first game, and it won't be easy being set in that chair for five minutes. Final set, Federer, sir. Fifteen love. Thirty love. I guess at nineteen you don't stiffen up very much. Forty love. Okay, Federer. First game, final set. And I suppose the other nice thing that is going for Roger Federer, it, it's not a very physical serve, is it? It's a lovely rhythmical, uh, relies on timing. And he's had that timing throughout the match. It's not a serve that's going to uh, tire you out. And obviously a 19-year-old against a 29-year-old, I suppose if it became a marathon match, you might fancy the youngster. 15, love. Well, I'm not sure about that. In fact, I think players really grow into their physical bodies in their late 20s. I think that Federer's best days fitness-wise are ahead of him. The timing on that ball, just wonderful. Thirty, fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, good job, he got a racket on that serve. He might have had a big hole in his chest otherwise. Coming straight for him. Audacious attempt. One game over. Federer. Final set. the second serve that gets now. up on the backhand of Sampras and he struggled all day and doesn't he know it Left for third. one 
two, three. Yes, in this one, Rosampras is able to stay down right in the pocket. Thirty fifteen. Game. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, he's slipping only 132 miles an hour. He hasn't missed a first serve in the set yet. Well, this is really the only shot that Sampras could hit. But what perfection in the feel he showed there. Forty love. Fifteen. Well, Sampras not doing enough with that forehand volley. In fact, didn't really hit it squarely on the strings. Fourteen thirty. Okay, Sampras, new balls, please. Two games on, final set. After three hours and 13 minutes, nice symmetry on the scoreboard. Two sets all, two games all, and the match perfectly poised. And still we wonder whether the 19-year-old can possibly upset the seven times champion. Fifteen 
30 long. Well, once again, Federer getting help from the new balls he's serving with this game. That ball came off the court very quickly. Forty long. set continues. Love. Uh, come on, can we have our ball back, please? Well, the clear majority of those Sampras double faults have come when he's been going for huge second serves, 119 miles an hour, that one. Which is uh, faster than Federer is averaging for his first serve. Fifteen. Federer was so far out of position, it was worth a go. See if he could come up with a miraculous shot, rather than just hoisting up another defensive lob. Three games off. No sign of either man weakening at all in the fifth set. One ball, one ball. Oh, he's just, uh, the umpire has asked for one more ball to come out to replace the one that someone yeah, snaffled in the crowd. Within the two games now, they put a new ball. Yeah, they lost one. They're asking, uh, is it right to put out one brand new ball? And the umpire saying, well, put only one. One new ball's in play. Federer comes up with there, right on the line. Yeah. 
30 long. Sampras not impressed with this call. Ooh, I think it found the line. Okay, Pedro. Fifteen love. The lead is a brief one. Thirty fifteen. What a beautiful chip. Very precise. Actually, that slice quite hard. First time either serve has been under any sort of threat in this fifth set. Forty thirty. So nearly made a great return off a hundred and thirty one mile an hour serve. The very top of the tape. or one lucky net cord or one lost moment of lost concentration could decide it. Fifteen love. Second serve coming in at only 91 miles an hour. Sampras took a step in and took control. Thirty fifteen. Uh, perfect feel.
Inspiration. Thirty, forty. Snipper's happy to let Federer dwell on this moment as long as he wants. Difficult question there. This man came up with the answers. Advantage, Sampras. Sir. Sampras a target on that point. He can work harder. Advantage, Federer. left. Hubby is serving to stay in the match. <laughs> 15 love. Yes, easy pickings, really, for the Sampras forehand. Serve right onto the sideline and it really uh, stopped dead. Slowed down totally in Federer. Far too early with his swing. Okay. 
two serves in a row. Sampras hits the line. Federer's timing completely. Five games on, five set. <laughs> completely disturbed. Serving to hang on to my title, no problem. Love game. Fifteen love. Fifteen that serve came in at 107 miles an hour, and Sampras right on it. His heart may have skipped a beat there. Let for serve. Fedeli, six game to five, final set. Returns off of both wings. So Sampras really has no choice. He must consistently serve well and go for big serves. Well, that served not far from the center line, but still not good enough. He's going to serve at 112. He needs to either get it into the body or slide it out wide. Yeah. 
The king had been dethroned, had a new one arrived. Not just yet. Federer would lose in the next round to Tim Henman, and a year later, regarded for good as a potential Wimbledon champion, he would lose in the first round. But since then, Federer has not lost a match at Wimbledon, earning five straight singles titles. Sampras, too, would lose early the next year, and never again...